Today in Maryville, a local haunted house is hosting a fundraiser to help one of their own. Earlier today, there was a free trunk or treat, face painting, food, and a raffle. Later, there was a haunted house and live music from country music artist Walker Wilson, who was recently on The Voice. Our reporter, Olivia Daig, shares the story of this Blunt County community rallying behind Jimmy Crone, someone who's known in the area for helping others. They say now that they're just returning the favor. While kids in Maryville were getting candy, this community is giving back to someone they say is more than deserving. We all genuinely care about each other, and our community has time and time again showed up and showed out for, for its you know, community members. This is Jimmy Crone. I'm a brick mason, so I've worked around the county for quite a while, know a few people that way, and then uh, I built a brick oven on a trailer and I started doing these benefits. Crone says he's raised thousands for different members in the community through events just like this. One of our officers has a son who has um, a disability, and so Jimmy went to an event very much like the one we're throwing for Jimmy right now and raised a ton of money. And now the community is returning the favor. And said, hey, Jimmy's going to have to have surgery again, um, and he's going to be out of work again. And so I was like, you know, is there any chance we could do something to help him out? And it was immediately just absolutely. This event is about more than candy costumes, even country music. It's a way to show Jimmy the support he's given all these years. The thing about Blunt County is like if somebody needs You're help, welcome. somebody needs any type of financial support or anything like that, Marshall and Jimmy are the first guys to step up to the plate, be willing to offer time, money. AMS Haunted Attractions provided the venue. This is more of a labor of love. And despite these sights that might make your heart drop, Jimmy's is full. A lot to take in, you know, it's very humbling, of course. In Maryville, I'm Olivia Daig.